How many of y'all like that got a job? Now, how many of y'all work with some people that you just like, ah! Here go five coworkers that everybody got. Number one, the coworker that always tell you to quit your job, but they don't never want to quit. Every time you walk into the office, they telling you, I can't believe you still here. Don't you want to do better for yourself? Don't you want to do more with your life? Quit. You shouldn't even have to be here. They don't pay you enough. But every single day, that same coworker is right there with you, telling you to quit your job. You know what, Tony? Why don't you quit your job, Tony? Why don't you just call it quit? Why don't you not be able to pay your bill for a couple months, get your car repossessed, get put in a victim at your house? You can't buy food. You can't buy shoes. You can't buy clothes. You can't buy women because you know you be out there buying women, Tony. If you are a Tony, stop being a Tony. Leave me alone. Let me be miserable here on my own. Number two, the nosy coworker. You know that coworker that never tell you none of their business. You don't know what they do with their life. You don't even know if they're human or not. But they can tell you about every single person around the office except for theirs. Hey Josh, so um, how much you weigh? Um, 255. Hey Josh, so um, how fast can you run? I don't know, like a 48, 49 and a 40. Hey Josh, uh, what's your what's your weight in your belt and your pants length size, Josh? Bro, I don't know, but can you please go back there and get some more fries? Cause we do work at McDonald's. Why you gotta know all this stuff? Number three, the coworker that don't never bring nothing to eat to work, but eat everybody's stuff. We got the same amount of family members. We get paid the same amount of money. We live in the same area. I got time to stop and get me something to eat every single day at work, but you never ain't got no time, and you never bring that in. But as soon as I come in and eat my sandwich, you want a piece. Cut it in half, post them a my Gatorade in an office cup. <sighs> And when you finally decide to bring a dish to work, nobody wanted it because it looked like it was cooked out the Adams family. Nobody wanted none of that gray pot pie that looked like it got a rat arm and a mouse head in it. Let me answer the question that you've been asking me all year. The reason you don't lose no way at work is because you eating everybody's stuff. We round here starving. Michael Jackson weight. You round here eating. Randy Jackson weight. American Idol. It's a no for me, dog. Number four. The coworker that flirts so much that they have you thinking that y'all together, but y'all really not together because they don't really want you, but they keep flirting with you. We are at work. Let's be professional. If you flirt with me, I'm going to flirt back. If you don't flirt with me, I ain't going to flirt with you. But don't come into work knowing that if you were behind my ear, that's my spot. Now, when I start acting funny towards you, you tell me, whoa, whoa, Josh, I just, I treat everybody like that. Now you don't. No, you don't. You know how I know you lying? Because homeboy that don't got a car that be walking to work, he look way better than me. He got abs, got a nice full damn beard and everything. You'll never flip with him. But you see me sitting on BMW wheels outside. You want to rub me behind my ear. As soon as I tell you, let's exchange a number of social media information. You want to tell me, no, whoa, you married. Does he know about your work husband? People, don't flirt at work, people. Don't lead your coworkers on, people. Because three things going to happen. Somebody at home going to be ready to bust you in your head to the white me. Two, you're going to end up embarrassing the person at work. And three, HR will be in your office filing all kind of claims that you ain't know existed. And number five, that one coworker you know will help you fight if it go down. We all got that one coworker that you know if you get fired on that day, they finna go out in a blaze of glory with you. If you come out the boss's office and you tell them that you fired, they gonna be taking off their equipment, their name badges, their stuff, because they know y'all finna tear this whole mother. They know you guys are gonna do some things that you shouldn't do at your office. The reason you need to stick with that one coworker, cause that coworker gonna have your back. Cause when you get mad at the dude that's coming to work eating your food and stuff, he gonna have your back. He gonna be saying that ain't right. So when that dude jump bad and start to act funny, then we gonna leave the office together. Now once we leave the office together, we gonna run to the girl that's been flirting with us the whole time. Today she don't feel like flirting. So now we feeling awkward, but he gonna cuss her out with me, cussing her out, cause she been leading us on the whole time. Then the nosy person looking at us in the corner, trying to put us on social media cause they seen everything we've been doing. Listen, wait. Everybody got these coworkers. Tell me I'm lying. And I'll be fine. Pull me in close and don't let me go. Make up to me. Uh. When the world's at war, let your love in us all. Right now, baby, make love to me.